Hey, good morning, everybody. We are in chapter 5 of the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes. Of course, Ecclesiastes was written by King Solomon, where he's recording, uh, he's giving us his memoirs, you might say, of his search for happiness or his search for the meaning of life. And up to this point, it's pretty much been about the meaninglessness of life without God. Um, in the first four chapters, he's related to us some some observations and experiences and discoveries about how apart from God, uh, wisdom does not bring happiness. Uh, and know that Solomon was a very, very wise person. And apart from God, uh, pleasure does not bring happiness. And know that Solomon pushed the experience of pleasure to uh, almost uh, an off-the-chart sort of level. And apart from God, uh, work and achievement and, and political power are meaningless. He says, he uses the phrase, they're like chasing the wind. Uh, and in the last part of chapter 5, that our reading for today, he talks more about the futility of, of wealth and riches. Uh, please read these verses. We're going to focus our time on the first part of chapter chapter 5, the first seven verses. Uh, Solomon makes some observations in these first verses about worship, about worshiping God, specifically about the rituals of his day that I think uh, we can take some uh, applications into our life today too. In, in verse one, uh, he talks about the, the very, some of his very first words, he talks about the, the house of God and know that what he's talking about there is the, the temple, the temple. Uh, God gave Solomon uh, actually, God gave Solomon's father, King David, the instructions for building the temple. And Solomon followed through with that. And he, and he actually built the temple. And please know that it was a very, very impressive building. The, the temple was the center of their lives. It was the place where they believed that, that God's presence on earth lived. It was in the Holy of Holies. And, and the temple was where uh, God lived. And temple act activities included priests who would, who would make regular offerings to, to pay for the sins of, of the people. And they gave talks or sermons and people gave offerings and they offered prayers and, and all in the name of connecting with and engaging with God. And so Solomon makes some, some observations and, and, uh, and he pondered the, the worship life, the temple worship. And, and he observed that in his opinion, that the, the offerings and the sacrifices and the promises, they were separate from the way that the people lived. There, there was no connection with them, uh, with, with the, these offerings and their devotion to God. The people saw the sacrifices as more obligatory and necessary. They were a requirement from, from God and they alone were sufficient seemed, in their opinion, seemed to be sufficient to, to please God. It didn't really matter if their, if their hearts and minds were in it at all. And in this context, uh, Solomon tells us a little bit later, actually in the very first, first two verses of Ecclesiastes 5, he, he says, it's evil to make mindless offerings to God. Don't make rash promises and don't be hasty in bringing matters before God. Now, um, in the New Testament, we learn that God's house is not a building. It's not a synagogue. It's not a church facility. We were not created by God for the temple. We are being made into the temple of God where the Holy Spirit lives. We are God's temple and we worship God and our lives, how we treat people, the, the words that we say, even the thoughts that we harbor in our minds, we entertain in our minds. Um, everything is worship. Everything is worship. And if we really truly want to please God, then uh, we want to make everything in our life pleasing to God. First Corinthians 3.16, uh, we read these verses. It says, don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of God? and that the Spirit of God lives inside of you. God's not impressed. God, God is not impressed at all by unkept promises or uh, meaningless words or empty sacrifices or, or empty rituals. 
these are hollow ceremonies and, 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 and though they're supposed to draw us closer to God, Solomon gets really blunt with them in, in Ecclesiastes 5, 7. Listen to what he says. He says, talk is cheap, like daydreams and other useless activities. He says, fear God instead. Be in awe of God. And so our challenge is to start each day with an attitude of worship. Uh, it's like Paul's very clear passage, uh, very clear instruction in Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. He says, and what, whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to him through God the Father. So I pray today, go out and have a day of worship. Uh, in everything you do, say, God, this is an offering of myself to you, and I want to please you. And thank you for your love for me. Have an amazing day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.